Hey, howdy, hey, how is everybody doing? And welcome back to Disney Daily. Pocahontas is one of my favorite Disney princesses, and it turns out Miko is my favorite sidekick. This dynamic duo truly has a beautiful friendship, and I couldn't help but wonder how exactly did they meet? Before I answer that question, I want you all to know that this video today is a very special one for me. The book I am about to share with you reveals how the two met one another, but even deeper than that, it illustrates how magical and supportive animals truly are, especially in times of immense grief and sadness. Now, although this story is how the beautiful Pocahontas saved Miko, it really is about how he actually saved her. The tale of their meeting is documented in the book Pocahontas. Pocahontas Hello Funny Face, written by Margot Lundell and Walt Disney Production. In the beginning of the book, it reveals that Pocahontas's mother grew very ill and passed away. And although it had been a year since her death, the young princess was still very sad and distraught. Her father, Chief Powhatan, urged her to go be around her friends and practice for the race. But Pocahontas looked at him with a somber face and told him that she didn't feel up to it that year. It had grown apparent that Pocahontas needed more time to grieve before she would feel like herself again. One afternoon, Pocahontas went to see the wise grandmother Willow. The ancient tree spirit loved Pocahontas and always tried to give her guidance when needed. Pocahontas revealed to grandmother Willow that everyone was worried about her and that they didn't want her to be sad anymore. The enlightened spirit told the once adventurous princess that everything is happening the way it should and that her sadness would go away when her heart can be touched once again. The very next day, Pocahontas joined her best friend Nakoma for a canoe trip. The two began to paddle upstream and noticed the river became narrower and the water ran faster. It was in the distance Pocahontas heard a faint cry just above the river's surface. As they paddled more, they identified that the sound came from a young raccoon in trouble who was clinging to a single branch in the river. Pocahontas ordered Nakoma to steer the boat towards the frightened animal and when she was close enough, she pulled him out of the water and secured him safely in a basket. After the two girls arrived at their destination, Pocahontas decided she would take the little raccoon home, who she had named Miko. That night, she returned with Miko, who had grown very weak, ill, and wouldn't eat a thing. Pocahontas was so focused on nursing the little guy back to health that she wasn't thinking about much of anything else. All of Pocahontas's time and effort paid off because Miko began to grow strong once again. Now, I will try to summarize the rest of the story from here, but essentially, the little raccoon is well again and runs around following Pocahontas everywhere she goes, so much so that he is known as her second shadow. He would constantly make her laugh and put a smile on her face. And Miko, although he was strong enough to return to the forest, didn't want to leave the young girl and they became inseparable. And we see Grandmother Willow's words come true in that Pocahontas allowed the small creature to touch her heart and it filled her again with happiness that she had thought was long gone. Now I, like probably many of you, have made it through some of my lowest points in my life with the help and love from my pet. I found this book to be very very comforting and something we all could relate to in some way, shape, or form. So for my question today, I just want to know if you have related to Pocahontas before and also had a special animal in your life that helped you through a tough time. And if you don't feel comfortable sharing your pet, then please leave your favorite character from Pocahontas. As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.